YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jake and I just want to start off this video right off the bat by saying I am sorry that it has been so long since my last upload. It's been about 11 months since my last upload that's on the channel. And I just want to explain that. I want to explain myself for that because I had planned on doing videos all summer long, trying to be consistent and go into the new school year being consistent and story short it just did not happen basically I got home I uploaded my last video of freshman year that was on the channel for maybe a couple months but I when I went back and reviewed it later on I f discovered that there were the audio wasn't lining up with the um, the video for some reason and I tried fixing it and I couldn't figure out what the problem was so I just deleted the video altogether because I did not I didn't want that on my channel so after that I was like okay well I, I want to get back into making consistent videos so I wanted to try a little a gaming series and there were so many technical difficulties that any video that I tried to make in that series, for some reason, it just wasn't working out. So I just said, forget about it. I'll move on and do some other kind of content until I can try and make this work. So I tried to do that for a little bit, but there were still some technical difficulties that was going on. And I started getting really distracted by my work, my job, because I started working at an Irish pub so that was taking up a lot of my time and it was just yeah it was really difficult to stay on a schedule however now I've had a lot of friends hitting me up saying asking me where the videos are why am I not making videos and it kind of inspired me to just get back on here because I've been wanting to get back on and start making videos again and start grinding but I just, I've been kind of lazy if I'm going to be honest. I haven't really thought too much about it over this last school year. And I'm like halfway through second semester of sophomore year. So pretty much went through this entire school year without making a single video. That is going to change now. I am making weekly videos every Saturday at 12.30 p.m. A new video is going to drop on this channel starting right now with this video. Come back next week expecting a new video, Saturday morning, or Saturday noon, 12.30 p.m. every Saturday. So, without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Dude, I, I don't know what happened, but I drank that milk, and I am not, I'm not feeling good. Dude, Jake did the same thing, and last night, Oh, okay, oh, hold really on. Wait, hold on, E. I'm getting, I'm getting a call. Hey, dude, bro. Vito. You at the spot? Yes. What, what do you mean, where am I? I'm, I'm at the spot. Where are you guys? No, no, we've been here for like 30 minutes. What the heck? Where are you? What? Okay. Dude, I'm walking to the spot right now. I don't uh -huh. see you. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Uh, okay, all right. Uh, yeah, skate or die. Skate or die. Skate or die. Yeah. All right, now we're back at the spot. Finally found Woo. where we're going. Hey, hey, hey. We're here. We made it. We're I'm here with uh, my good friend Vito. First time on the Chan. So he's going to be helping me film this video. Basically, it is the five tricks that you can learn before you even learn an ollie because you spend a lot of time doing an ollie. It can get really frustrating. These can mix it up a little bit. It can get you feeling more comfortable on your board quicker, quick, quicklier, more, more faster. Re regardless, quicker than if you were just focusing on ollie <laughs> for a year straight and not getting anything done. Just be trash. So, let's get right into the tricks. Trick number one. You can do a no slide on a little box like this one we have at the spot because you don't need to pop up onto the box no to get box. into a no slide. Okay. I actually never do no slides 
by doing it all the into them. I need to learn. Yeah. I still don't. Should. But you can do that without alling. So let's go see that. Kickflip the first try. <laughs> that, was, that was the no slide. It was first tee and it was awesome. Uh, it, yeah, it was first try. It was sick. For sure, um, for sure. What makes no slides without actually doing all possible is if you want to little explain when you're riding up you just lift the nose up off the ground a little bit to get up onto the actual thing and then once you're on you just have to shift shift your weight properly to keep on the box and then ride off clearly i'm not the greatest at it because i always stop right at the end and then kind of shift my way off but yeah, it's a learning process, but we're all in it together. Next Thanks. trick is... Next trick, we're gonna do the Chinese Ollie. You got it, I believe in you. Here we go, so simple. Basically, it's like a... Oh! Okay, back to what I was saying. The Chinese Ollie is super, super simple. You just lift up, this is all you do is lift up your the front, your nose, and then you let the board on the back, it's gonna run over a crack, boom, and the crack levels the board out. And then right as you're approaching the crack is when you jump. So you lift it up, jump off the board, and then the board hits the crack and you land. Bam. But we did it. There you go. And that's the Chinese Ollie. So that was the Chinese Ollie. Super, super simple. Let's Easy try. To do to do first try I'm a beginner like I can't even ollie the curb I did a Chinese ollie so oh easy. yeah so easy so good all right the next trick is a slappy grind super easy to do on a any curb Elijah's gonna bust them uh, yeah uh, how, explain how you do slappies because I'm trash at them so I just go really fast head on to the curb at like Kind of parallel, not really, like a little bit of an angle, and then I just set up my feet on the bolts and just jam it into the curb as hard as I can, and then... And you lift the nose up a little bit? Um, a little bit. You mainly want to get your back trick on there, so you hit, you hit the nose, and then you want to get your back trick on there, so you lock in. That's sick. Yeah. All right, there's the slappy. Uh, the next trick that you can do before any ollie is a shove it. It's super simple, it's all in the back foot. And it's actually really weird about this trick in particular is you can do them fakey and ollie way easier than regular. Everybody I talk to says it's way easier. I find fakey mm -hmm. shoves a thousand times easier than regular shoves. It's really weird. So let's bust some shovets. Just keep that. 
<laughs> All right, so as you can see, shove its are really fun. No pop needed unless you want to do a pop shove, which is super fun as well. A little bit more difficult, but it's still really fun to do. And as you can see by Elijah's little talent for shoves. Sisties. Once you are able to get shoves down, you can incorporate the same thing into all your big spins just by also doing a body varial and a 360 shove it, which is just scooping a little bit more difficult. But let's ask him exactly how to do a shove it. Explain the shoves. Okay. Um, for me, I just set my feet up almost like a kickflip position. Have my toes hanging out just a little bit. And then I pretend that there's like a piece of gum on my grip and I'm trying to scrape it off my foot. So like this. It's all in the back foot. It's in the back foot. And then like, it's cool if you capture it with your front foot so it's not going anywhere. Just like this. That. Yeah. And then you can practice that going like this. Although it's probably not safe. Maybe catch it in your back foot, right? Let's see. I don't know. I think front foot's better. Just to get some motion. Yeah. I, I hesitate because I just want to land it. Yeah. But yeah. I do mine. All right, sweet. Uh, so there you have shove it. The next trick is we're gonna hit you with a 360 revert. Oh, just like a regular revert. Um, one thing on a regular revert, which I'll show you in a second, is you just need to like kind of take your weight off the board. Light as a feather. That's all you gotta think. Take your weight off the board, and you kind of like drag your toes on the edge so the board spins around. So I'm gonna do a backside. Really quick. Real easy. see I, I like kind of jump when I do my revert which is like I'm taking off weight from the board so that it can spin around easier so now I'm gonna go for the 360 revert oh, that was so bad but you get the idea all right guys, that is the top five tricks that you can do before you even learn how to ollie. But we have a special surprise for you. Vito and Elijah have a few bonus tricks that you can learn or extras, if you will. Vito, you wanna take right. away with the first yes. one? I'm gonna sauce you guys with the strawberry milkshake. So you're gonna push off your board, pressure on the side, so it flicks down on the side, and then you wrap your foot around so the board gets thrown out in front of you, and you land with your feet. Right there. Uh, let's see it. Okay. Oh. Woo. <laughs> that strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Oh. Oh, tasty. Oh. Ah, that was close. I gotta get it. Dude. One more. This is the last one. Never one more. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Vito. Oh, nice. <sighs> right, awesome. That's the turn. strawberry milkshake. Yes. Elijah. Whoa. Any uh, extra tricks? How about? Nah. Uh, <laughs> what would you call that? Airing off it? You don't really need to do an ollie, right? You just no. It, it's it's just like air off. It's, it's like not a, a bonk because it's it's uh it's an air. It's like a pole jam. Nah. But it's not a pole. It's a ramp jam. It's a ramp jam. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, so a ramp jam. Dude, 
I almost fell so bad right there. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Board so, slide? Yeah, board slide. Board, board slide. now Vito how how do you explain to do uh, board slides board slide without ollie board slide without ollie you which you okay. just did so here's your here's your platform you're gonna you're gonna slide on right you literally it's all man, most of these tricks are about just manually so you're gonna bring up the front side lift it over place it down and make sure your weight is equally distributed and then once you get to the end of the the platform that you're on you just lift up and come back down. And that's it. So basically, it's exactly like how you would do the nose uh, slide without yep. doing an ollie. Yep. Same same concept, but on a box or a parking curb. Yeah. Or even maybe a rail if yeah. it's small enough. Basically. Yeah. Sweet. All right, guys. That is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go down and hit that like button if you liked it. If you want to see more videos from myself, smash that sub boot button and come back next Saturday, 12.30 p.m. for a new video. That's it, guys. We're back. We're back in business every week. Hopefully. That's it, I guess. And after not being on camera for about a year, it, first time back, it's kind of awkward, but... It's good to see your guys' faces. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go before before this gets any weirder. Um, I guess I guess just roll the outro. I guess. Peace. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good rest of your day. Um, I don't want to go. I I've missed you guys, but kind of have to, some work I have to go do. Now, I'll, I'll see you guys next Saturday. All right, peace. Roll the outro. You've been on my mind.